This is what my average photo would look like. What if I tell you that you can follow just one simple rule, just one rule, and take your pictures from this to this, or this, or this without Photoshop. And the Oscar for that one tip that can transform your posing and your portrait game is none other than exaggeration. exaggeration. Really? What? what? How? How? Are the questions that are about to get answered as you watch me apply the art of exaggeration and transform my pictures to look like they have been Photoshopped. But they have not been. Welcome to Blush With Me. Tip number one, exaggerate your hike. Is it even possible? Yes. Instead of wearing something that doesn't enhance your height, wear elongating outfits. And instead of standing with your feet next to one another, stretch one leg forward and pose on your toes. When I say stretch one leg forward, I mean stretch it closer towards the camera and come on your toes. And this posing tip works great even if you're wearing flat shoes. Talking about my outfit to look taller, for instance, I have small shoulders which makes me look very petite and short even though I'm 5 feet 7 inches tall. But here I'm wearing puff elbow sleeve crew neck t-shirt. That's a long name for a t-shirt that actually makes me look like I have broader shoulders and overall I don't look as petite as I did if I was wearing a regular black t-shirt. And I have paired this t-shirt with a high waist wide bottom pants that again elongate my lower body. Number two is to exaggerate your poses, be it sitting, standing, or walking. If you straighten your back, contract your abs, squeeze your butt, or stick it out, you will look better and so will your pictures. Now exaggerate these poses just a little bit more. So instead of just sitting like this, like boring and flat, or just leaning onto a friend or a tree, you can actually create angles. Stretch your limbs out, your neck, and take more space. You see what a huge difference that makes? And you don't even have to be a model to do that. Tip number three, exaggerate your curves. Watch me go from this to creating a curve in my back. You may ask, but I don't have a curvaceous body. Here you can see two images of Olga who's featured in this video for posing for plus size women and see how beautifully she has created curves with her body. This is where it comes blush with me to your rescue once again. Make sure you're subscribed to my channel. Do that like right now because I'm making a video on how to fake curves when you aren't blessed with much. This is going to be a super informative and entertaining video. Let me know in the comment section below what topics you want to see that help you develop a positive and a confident body image. And for those of you who want to work with me individually, reach out to me for work purpose only. Use this email that is on the screen right now and also in my description below. Moving on to my next step. Number four is to exaggerate your makeup. Take a look at these two pictures next to one another. Need I say anything more to explain this point? Tip number five, that's ten, five. Exaggerate your outfit, dress better, add a pop of color or a statement accessory. 
For instance, this tan shoe versus this blue shoe. Now both of them are equally comfortable, but this definitely screams attention. Also, this top is just a black t-shirt, but the exaggerated sleeves add that extra element of interest to this outfit. Also, statement jewelry like these pieces from my Satat collection are again something that will make people stop and give you that double take or zoom into your pictures or save your pictures. By the way, if you see my pictures on Instagram or Facebook fan page, you're totally welcome to do that. And make sure that when you use these tips to take your next pictures, please tag me. I would love to see your pictures and cheer you on. Tip number six is to exaggerate your expressions. Some of you write to me saying things like, I'm conscious of my smile or I don't like my teeth or I don't like to smile in photos, but whoever invented this concept of say cheese has ruined the chances of millions of photos from being expressive and interesting. Nothing looks more fake than a fake smile and nothing looks more fake than saying cheese. In this video, you can learn different ways to perfect that smile. You will actually learn to create that perfect heartwarming smile that's far from nervous smile. But here is my favorite thing to do in pictures exaggerate subtle expressions. So this is my no expression look, right? And now I'm going to exaggerate this no expression look by bringing just a little warmth in my eyes. And watch it transform. It kind of warms up your whole face and it looks like your heart is happy. You look relaxed and you look comfortable. That's far from looking nervous. Tip number seven is to exaggerate with filters. Now filters are a great way to add a certain look or a mood to your pictures. Take a look at some of my pictures with and without filters. Now the trick I use is that I rarely use the filters that some of my favorite apps have to offer. When I use apps like Snapseed or Lightroom, I prefer to make my own presets, which are my own filters to create my own unique looks. And very soon these presets will be available for you to buy. So all you need to do is just apply these presets or filters to your pictures to create similar effects as that of my images. Now, I pay extra attention to comments you guys write to me. For those of you who write to me things like, I don't like to be photographed, I'm too short, I look terrible in pictures, or whatever your reason is. Well, with my channel, you do not have to worry about what's not working for you because I always find a way to make it work. The first thing I try to teach when I want to strengthen your confidence is that you are never going to be perfect in every way, but you can always discover and develop your strengths to create the best version of you. Hit the like, share and subscribe button before you leave. See you next week with yet another kick-ass video. Until then, blush with me.